it's terrifying to think that, you know, how many of us are just in this situation that we don't have any other options. This is what we have. The Keith family has been living with this gray water for as long as they can remember. The county, you know, said that it was definitely contaminated. Then we've had some even more detailed people that were running tests on it. They have said that it is um, completely unsafe to even bathe in, to do laundry in, um, don't eat, drink. Wells were tested by a local biology professor back in June of 08. There were elevated levels of beryllium, aluminum and lead. And across the board, levels of manganese and iron far exceeded the EPA's safe drinking water standards. This was from the well at the back of the house. The Keith's neighbor, Maria Lambert, believes there has to be a connection between the water and the illnesses that have devastated their community. Brain tumors, uh, gallbladders, the gallbladder removal rate is 98% uh, to 53 people. These 55-gallon barrels bought with grant money are providing some relief for now. Lambert and other residents organized the Printer Water Fund so that hundreds of her neighbors, some still afraid to point the finger at coal companies, will have access to clean water, at least enough for drinking. If you don't live long enough to get that next payday to get the bills paid, then what good is it going to do us? What good is it going to do us if we're poisoning our kids?